out there and we still don't know what's going on. And, uh, the I'm students have just left to their to meeting the and they still refuse to make a comment. The Republic. A chair? Yeah. Um, From the University of Georgia, a student production from the Grady College of Journalism. This is Grady News Source. Hello from and welcome University to a special of edition of Grady News Source. We have some breaking news for you tonight in recent developments with the red and black student staff walk off. Yesterday, senior editor members walked off the publication before their deadline because of issues with la lack of control and the paper bringing on new professional members to advise the student staff. Now, earlier today, there was a meeting with the former student editors and the staff at the Red and Black, and one of our own members was there to see it. Chelsea, what, what happened? What, what went on? 
Well, we actually still don't know the exact situation. They're no longer commenting. They're not commenting any further about the situation. They have ended the meeting. So uh, we got them leaving as they were leaving, but they were unwilling to comment any further. Sarah and I are continuing to monitor the situation, and obviously any updates we hear, we will be getting back to you about. Now, did it seem like there was any certain emotion from the people? Did it seem like something good had happened, or did it seem like it might have been a tense meeting? There was really no um, emotion involved when they were leaving. I think the only emotion we experienced was just them trying to get out there as quickly as possible. But uh, they definitely are have stuff under wraps, and they said that just wait a little bit longer, and they will give us more information about what exactly what was said in that meeting. Thank you, Chelsea. Now we're going to go to the newsroom to sp uh, reporter Mike Ryder. Earlier today, Mike was at the Red and Black and was there to catch an interview with uh, publisher Harry Montev Montevideo. Um, earlier today, he did release a statement. So Mike, what did he say? Yes, earlier today, Red and Black publisher Henry Harry Montevideo released a statement through the Red and Black. We were able to film that statement talking about the changes and the reaction to the student walkout yesterday evening. Here's the official statement from Harry Montevideo through our video that we got earlier today. I'm Harry Montevideo, I'm publisher of The Red and Black. I'm entering my 30th year here at The Red and Black. I'd like to read a statement um, for myself and our uh, Red and Black Board of Directors. In response to the res resignation of student editors at The Red and Black Wednesday evening, the Red and Black Board of Directors and publisher, myself, Harry Montevideo, issues the following statement. For a communications company, we clearly have been at the center of a great deal of miscommunication during the past 24 hours. We regret this failure of clarity with our core constituency, the student journalists. We want to set the record straight on several matters. The Red and Black is still and will remain an independent student media organization. It has been in the past and will continue to be supported by a dedicated group of professionals. In an effort to provide a better product for our readers of print and digital news and to provide better training for our student journalists, the Red and Black recently decided to add additional professionals to both the editorial and business staff, half of whom are part-time. The Red and Black does not plan to have these professionals assume the role of our editor, of our student editor-in-chief. The editorial director is a counselor, teacher, mentor, coordinator, and manager. The editorial director is charged with helping students make smart content decisions prior to publication, particularly on stories which involve issues of libel or standards of quality and ethics. It is not, nor has it ever been, the intention of the board to censor student content. We expect our students to collaborate with our professional staff to establish and maintain standards for quality, develop plans for content, and create quality journalism products which engage our audience. The Red and Black champions the best interests of student journalists. Core to our mission is providing the best possible training experience which mirrors the real world. We are optimistic about our future and the board has made significant investment in the additional teachers for our student journalists, multimedia staff, and graphic design team. We have also established a marketing PR group to expand the experience we offer students and have added to our advertising staff. The changes reflect our board's optimism and the recognition that we must maintain pace in a rapidly changing world of news delivery beyond our traditional print format. The board is a volunteer group composed of former Red and Black staff and other journalists and business leaders who have a passion for its heritage and wish to see it remain strong and independent for decades to come. We are open for business and want to encourage any UGA student interested in working at their student newspaper to come by our office anytime. And that of course includes any former staff members. There will be an open house and discussion at 2 p.m. on Friday, August 17th in our office at 540 Baxter Street. Thank you. Now, we were able to talk with Montevideo more after this official statement that he gave us. He, was, he felt confident that something can be reached between the students and the employees at the Red and Black. And you can actually find our entire exclusive interview with the publisher of the Red and Black, Harry Montevideo, on our website. That's Grady News Source. UGA.edu, along with other updates from this story as they continue to develop. So, live in the newsroom, Mike Ryder, Grady News Source. Thank you, Mike. 
now we go back to the newsroom to news source reporter Joshua Buse, who was in contact with members of the advisory board overseeing the red and black. Josh, who did you get in contact with? Unfortunately, we had a little bit of an issue contacting a few of the advisory board members. However, we did get eight out of the 14. Now, these members, some of them do reside in Georgia and other southeast areas such as Florida, North Carolina, and Tennessee. Out of the eight members that we were able to contact, uh, messages were left with five. One refused to comment, and two made statements off camera, including Montevideo's press release. Unfortunately, none of them decided to go ahead and return our calls. As well, in other news with it, the Red and Dead's new Twitter page and Facebook, um, Twitter got over 3,000 followers just in one day, and Facebook over 2,400 likes. So, but also, we have a new little, we have a quick package that's going to come on up here. And what's going to happen is uh, we're going to go ahead and let you see a couple of the editors that we were able to get in contact with today. Members of the Red and Black student staff are in an uproar. Senior editors walked out yesterday afternoon in response to new changes made by professional staff on the editorial board. In a letter released by former editor-in-chief, Polina Marinova, she explains that they feel pressured to print stories they do not agree with by editors who weren't students. The paper has been independent from the University of Georgia since 1980 and has always been under the management of students. We spoke with former news director Adina Solomon last night. Here's what she had to say. I felt like as a news editor, I had less say over my section. Um, I felt like decisions were being handed down to me. And I didn't agree with the journalistic direction the paper was taking, so I resigned. The professionals on the Red and Black editorial board are holding a meeting on Friday at 2 p.m. Former Variety editor Tiffany Stevens stated she didn't know if she should attend. She doesn't feel comfortable. And the only way that she would go is if they were to discover a strategy and bring a game plan to the meeting. This is Joshua Buse for Grady News Source. Well, go ahead, guys. That's what we found out about today, and uh, those are the opinions we did get. Back to you. Thank you, Josh. Now, we had other reporters go out on campus today to see what the student reaction was. Not surprisingly, most of the students were in support of the other students who walked off the Red and Black staff. The entire student editorial staff of the Red and Black walked out Wednesday evening in protest of the university hiring a professional staff to edit content. Most university students are showing support for the student staff. So I don't feel it's proper or right for a student-run organization to be censored by those outside of it or professionals. I think since it is a student-run organization, students have a right to produce their work product and give their opinion and make the paper their own. The Red and Black has prided itself on being an independent student-run organization since 1982. Many students feel the original mission of the newspaper has now been lost. It's, if the goal of the Red and Black is to be a student-run newspaper, uh, by its definition, then if the professionals were truly trying to take over it, then I do support the students in leaving. Well, if they're not there doing what they joined to do, then I would, I'd personally leave too. Many dedicated readers are hoping the staff can find a way to rebuild. Uh, I believe that the students do have the power if it's organized and formed right. You have the power to voice your opinion and to, again, revamp what should be done. For now, the Red and Black is struggling to figure out how to run a student newspaper with no students. I read the Red and Black uh, weekly, and I don't know what would happen if it's gone from the, um, from the school. The red and black walk-off has had a significant impact in the Athens community and also on the internet. Stay tuned and we will bring you round-the-clock coverage of this on our, all of our social media sites, our Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube page, or you can check out gradynewsource.uga.edu for a full-length interview with Harry Montevideo from the red and black and also his full video statement. Thank you and have a great evening.